Luke Walton believes that Rajon Rondo is going to groom and uh, mentor Lonzo Ball. We back. It's the Boxing Clinic and more. Y'all know what it is. We back. Doing more than boxing. Doing real, trill talk, man. Sports, all that, man. And um, he said he, you can sit down and talk to Rajon Rondo, okay? Rajon Rondo is a different type of guy. He's a different breed, all right? You can tell him one thing, and you can talk. You can tell him to to you blue in his face. Oh, yeah, you going to uh, mentor Alonzo, mentor Alonzo. But when when camp comes, when it's and, and he, you already told him like Luke Walton probably already told him like you're gonna be the backup. We just want you to mentor Ron uh, Alonzo, okay? Rondo's a competitor. Rondo wants that spot, you know. Rondo wants to be the starting guard. He gonna try to eat, you know, his young Alonzo alive, and this. This is either gonna make Lonzo a better player, player, or it's gonna be a disaster between Lonzo. It's gonna be a disaster between Lonzo Lavar, Lonzo Lavar versus Rajon Rondo. I don't think this was a great idea. If it was, if this was, um, the idea was for Rondo to groom Lonzo to be a great point guard and be a mentor. I mean, I don't think Rondo is that type of mentor, mentor, what type of person to be that mentor right now in this stage of his career. He's just too hard headed. You know, he got in trouble in, in Dallas and he ain't been the same. He getting bouncing around from the team to team. And um but I think that's that's that should be a good role for him. That should be an absolute good absolute good role for him because Rondo, he can't play eighty two games no more, you know? And um, you know, he, he can really be a he got a good mind to be a coach, but he don't have a mentality. You know what I'm saying? Like Iverson said, I'm not coaching no MF that make more than me. That's kinda like Rondo's mentality. No, Rondo wants to be a competitor. Rondo wants to start. Rondo wants to play. And um, the competition, you know, it won't be a mentorship for the reason that makes Lonzo better. It's going to be the competition with them pushing each other back and forth. And a lot of people underrate Lonzo. You know, oh, he can't score. You know, neither can Rondo. What the hell you mean? No, Rondo gets to the bucket. So can Lonzo. Lonzo is a more explosive athlete than Rondo is at this point in his career. Rondo is a smarter uh, playmaker, a smarter athlete. He's more cerebral than Lonzo is, but you expect him. Like, what, what's Rondo like a nineteen-year vet almost now? You now you expect that to be him to be more cerebral, but we all know Lonzo got the higher ceiling right now. Lonzo is a better jump shooter than him, Rondo right now, and Lonzo got to continue to work on that jump shot. Work, continue to get stronger. He's a great defender. So is Rajon Rondo. You know they both can run the break and do all them things, the whole stuff. But I think Rondo could help Lonzo if he's willing. And I don't think he's willing to. You know, like I say, I say this a lot of times. It's like mix, uh, mixing bleach and ammonia together. This ain't going to work, man. You know, it's like oil and water. It's not going to work. You know, at some point, you know, Rondo going to get frustrated with Lonzo or possibly LeBron. You know, you got to remember LeBron is the point forward. He wants to control the whole flow. He wants to control the whole offense and all that. All right. He, he wants that. You know, you think he's going to take a backseat to Rondo? You know, Rondo said, give me the damn ball. I want to bring the ball up and run the offense and get in the set. Possibly because he respect Rondo like that, but he's not going to respect Luke Walton like that. And Luke Walton ain't built. He don't have a personality. He's not built to really handle what's going on here. He ain't even built to handle the LeVar Ball situation, him and Magic. They're too nice. They're too much a people person. You need a stern disciplinarian somewhere in this organization to make this happen and to make the Lonzo LeVar, the LeVar Ball situation go away. You know, Luke Ward ain't strong, ain't a strong enough personality to handle Rajon Rondo at this point in his career. Remember, him and Rondo and LeBron about the same age. You know, Luke Ward and Rondo and LeBron. You know, what I'm saying Luke Ward ain't strong enough personality, and Magic ain't a strong enough, stern, uh, a solid as an oak person to handle this. This is this has got disaster running all over it. Man, be Alonzo, uh, Lavar, Rondo, Rondo, LeBron, Lavar. I mean, any of those comb combinations, it, it seems like that may be the Lakers' downfall. You know, I, I believe that. And lack of jump shooting right now. That might be the Lakers' downfall. You know, but if, if Rondo can get right and him and Lonzo can coexist with each other and play a little bit, play together a little bit in the backcourt and, and they can mesh, yeah, that can be dangerous. But right now, I, I think this is, this is a dangerous territory. I think this was a horrible personnel move. Whoever made this personnel move, we're putting Rondo on this team with Lonzo. It's terrible. But maybe at one point they, they plan on trading Lonzo when Lonzo get healthy. I think that might be what it be and Rondo come in. But still, at that point, that's still a terrible fit. Uh, Ron, Rajon Rondo starting with LeBron. LeBron, like, you know, guards that can spot up and shoot, drive and shoot. Rondo, he been hitting a little bit more threes when he was in New Orleans, but he ain't no, he ain't no, he ain't a consistent knockdown shooter. He'll never be that. He'll never have that jump 
and, and, and three point percentage like Jason Kidd did. So for me, Rondo was an overall bad fit unless you're gonna stagger uh, Lonzo, LeBron, Lonzo, LeBron minutes with, with, uh, with Rondo minutes. He could just run the second bench offense because you know Le- LeBron liked to drive and kick, and Roger Rondo liked to handle the ball and run the offense. That's just a horrible personnel decision, in my opinion. You know, I, I don't, I didn't like the fit. You know, as well. You know, Lonzo barely fit with LeBron. I think it fit good. I mean, as far as shooting, you know, Lonzo, like, you know, fin- you know, work on the shooting. But if LeBron is able to be flexible and, and let Rajon Rondo run the offense and make the game easier for LeBron, then it could fit. You know, but I don't see LeBron doing that. I don't think they had a head coach that's stern enough and strong enough, or anybody in this organization. Everybody's nice guys. Nobody's a Pat Riley. Nobody's a real, real stern guy, Popovich. That's going to command that respect on demand like that. A lot of people like uh, Magic, but Magic, he's scared to get his hands dirty and say and say what needs to be said because he want to keep that nice guy image up. So, like I said, this is I don't I don't like this mentorship between Lonzo and Rondo. I know Luke Walton talked to him, but I don't know if that's going to work, man. But it's the boxing clinic more. Y'all know we do more than boxing. Y'all know what it is. One time for the one time. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Links are in the description. If you want to donate, PayPal link is there as well. Uh, Help us uh, keep creating and getting better. Hopefully, you know, I can start up some raw podca- podcasts and put it on the Patreon page when I finish uh, chopping the Patreon page up so they get some real, real raw content. Don't forget, we got the new college sports page popping off. If you went to college football and basketball, meet the Cali Enigma, Colossal Sports TV. The links are in the description um, to the college sports page and all the social media links. If you want to do a, a video collab, or a business venture. My business email is there for business use only. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. One time for the one time. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video. Share, share, share. Y'all know what it is. We gone.